Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be bringing you live action from Ligue 1, the top division here in France. It's Stade Brestois, and they face Racing Club de Lens. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. The starting lineup for Racing Club de Lens. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five. But with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. Merci. Bon match à toutes et à tous. And the match is underway. Camara. Brendan Chardonnay. Perfect tackle. Grady. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. start to this match just what they were hoping for well just look at his movement he knows exactly how to find and it's also a tidy finish that's a nice goal Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Les Melou, Belkebla. Well, the attack looks promising. Slimani. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Really vital interception. Seco Fofana. Just the challenge that was required. And played the pass well. Targets available, cross comes in. Pretty straightforward defending, dealing with that cross. Seco Fofana. Well, not hard to read that pass. Slimani. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, keeper in control. Played over. 
And the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Kamara. Now Slimani. Nicely timed tackle. Sotoka. Seko Fofana. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Now can they make something happen? Seko Fofana. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. So nearly at half-time and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity... They... And he read it really well. Fine save. They favoured a short one here. Another corner. They take it short. Slimani. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. And threading it forward, we wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. So that is that. The first 45 minutes have come and gone, and it's the visitors on top. Well, I hate to say it, but we were absolutely right about their defending. They just look so well organised. They squeeze up at the right time, they drop off when needed, and they close the ball down quickly. Defensively, that was almost the perfect first half. So back underway here into the second half. And narrowly off target here. Well, it's still all to play for, but that was a good effort, wasn't it? Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Mounier of danger here as he runs at them but they dealt with the threat posed Jean Onana Chemiswa Frankowski and now with Onana an alert intervention Slimani Mounier 
A wilting under the press. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. And a short corner, let's see. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. David Machado. And on the ball, Danzo. 30 minutes left for play. Jean Onana. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Two nil now and back underway. And a chance to whip it in here. Oh, surely! Can they stop it going in? Well, they can bring it out now. And into the last 20 minutes. Belkebla. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Icoma Luis Openda. Teammates available. But they took care of the situation defensively. Slimani. Mounier. Les Malou. Terrific block. Seco Fofana. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Belkebla. Les Melou. Les Melou. Well, that's a well-timed pass. And they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. So two minutes of stoppage time here. 
And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford a repeat performance.